Hey there folks, Mark here again on the Culinary Compass, uh, doing something that I don't often do, which is a book review. This is a new book, um, it's out, it's called Wild Flavors. Um, this is, uh, I had the pleasure of working with the author Dee Dee Emmons and the publishers to help Dee Dee get this book out onto the marketplace. Um, one of the things that's wonderful about it is it's broken into seasons, it follows a single year and inside of the book there are recipes that focus on things you'll grow in your garden or things you can forage for. Um, there's tons of stuff out there, as we all kind of know, but we don't know what to look for or what is and isn't safe to eat. Uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful way to find those things and then be able to put them into action immediately because Didi gives you recipes and so it's very simple to kind of uh, take your foraging energy and get benefits out of it quickly. What I love about this book, in addition to some of the recipes, even more than the recipes, are the descriptions of unique ingredients that you either will find in a grocery store like dandelion greens, like what do I do with dandelion greens, or things you might not readily find or you'll see in a farmer's market or if you do go foraging. Each of these pages that has something about this item cover a variety of topics. One is culinary uses, another is health virtues, another one is foraging for that item and storing it. Like lemongrass, for example. I think a lot of us are seeing lemongrass a lot more, even in regular grocery stores at times. Um, and it's hard to approach, like what do I do with that? And Dee Dee gives you one page and then recipes to follow. Long story short, um, season by season, spring, summer, fall and winter. Um, you can use this book to look for ways to store foods, preserve foods, find foods, and cook foods in unique ways. It's definitely an inspiration. This is the kind of cookbook that will break open for any of you, whether you're an accomplished chef or not, will break open um, uh, the creativity uh, that you can bring to your cooking. And of course you should buy the book anyway because it's supporting a really great progressive company, a publisher, um, Chelsea Green, and uh, of course to support Dee Dee. And she deserves it, believe me. Uh, she does incredible work and um, we want her to keep doing that great work in schools and other places where she educates um, people about the virtues of locally grown foods or locally found foods. So that's it for the Culinary Compass. If you want more book reviews, let me know. Ciao for now.